Hello there. We're going to try to do something that uh, really helps uh, open up the front line, as Tom Meyer says. We're going to try to pull the pecs and everything, all that pec fascia, that front line back. Also stretch a little bit of the arm lines and also try to reposition the scapula. You know, and from myoskeletal alignment techniques, we've been doing this for a long time, teaching it for a long time. It's in my volume uh, uh, two advanced uh, tech techniques book. Hadaroff used to say, put it where it belongs and make it move. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this scapula where it belongs. It likes to wander off laterally, externally rotates and glides off the, the shoulder uh, girdle, off the rib cage. And so now we're wanting to put the uh, scapula back where it belongs. I start by putting Michelle's arm behind her back like that and then I'm going to come in here with my soft palm under her uh, right shoulder like that so that I have my body weight uh, nice and relaxed and I can come in with my hand like that where I can take the scapula and put it back up on the rib cage where it belongs. Once I get it up there where, it, where I like it, notice how I can kind of move from foot to foot and can put a lot of compressive force on this, particularly people who may have thoracic uh, uh, scoliosis up here. Right thoracic scoliosis, very common. This one would be on the left. Okay, Michelle, now with a very a gentle 20% effort, pull this shoulder toward the table. So she pulls toward the table. They can overpower you on this one, so be careful. Two, three, four, five. When she relaxes, I just lean my body weight to the other side. I do not muscle them around. You've got to protect your body at all times. You've got five or six more clients sitting out there waiting to come in so you, the rest of the day. So you've got to be sure and not exert too much energy and get the job done. So now one more time, two, three, four, five, and reposition that scapula up there. So we've opened up the front line to reposition the scapula. The last piece of this is I'm going to take my hand here and grab her shoulder under the, the pecs and I'm going to bring this arm, adduct the arm back over across the body, get my body weight down so that I can come pull on this shoulder and I have her in this position. Now Michelle just gently pull this elbow that direction.